but it's always been a while. And we all know that when it's been a while, I always pop back on the scene with something new. But anywho, just want to show you guys my Moterm TN. I have been seeing them all over Instagram. And I have been wanting one and I finally have one. So I'm really excited. And I want to show you guys my setup. And I have a big little announcement to make at the end of my video. So stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Here is the TN. I have the taupe color. Um, it is not as wide as I thought. It's not as wide as I thought. But if you see, it's super stuffed though. So, I mean, we all know I got issues like that. So, this is the inside cover. And it is really stuffed. I don't have anything in here yet because part of me wants to throw some cards from my wallet in here that I don't use very often as well as in these back pockets but I'm not sure so far I just got my little dental card in there but we'll see and I have a lot of more little card slots there and in here and I have a lot of these little things as well so we'll see all right so wait a second I don't think those are supposed to be there I think I'm supposed to take those out sorry all right, so let's jump into this. So this is a picture of me, and this is a picture of my son. He was being goofy, and I felt like take a screenshot of it on FaceTime and show it to his girlfriend, well, his wife, one day, and let her know what she's getting herself into. All right. <laughs> it's me and my husband. This is just a little craft folder. Um, this is a plan that I got from want to say is simple home mama or simple mama plans not sure but um i always keep this for reference and this these are pictures this is my biological dad who passed away me and my mom and me and four out of six kids flip the page and there's junior on the potty yes i have a picture of junior on the potty because i thought that was an amazing day now, this first insert is my reference folder. Um, I can't reference notebook. I can't really flip through it because it has um, sensitive things, account numbers. Oh, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know about my mother. And now she needs 24-hour care. So me and my five siblings are taking care of her. But I am like the chief admin officer, obviously. So I keep track of her bills and her appointments and all those important things so I have a lot of her account numbers and her and my dad's socials and things like that because I feel like y'all I'm literally referencing this stuff once a week so that is a smart place for me to keep that so I can easily get to it and this is the other half of this which I just have this tucked inside and I have some stickers in there and there's one that fell out and that's that this notebook doesn't have anything in it yet. I'm, I have a few ideas, but I'm not sure yet. This was a Moleskine, like their little small notebooks. And I got it cut down to standard size and I tucked it in there. And we'll flip over this and we'll come back to this last. And then back here is like this little canvas pocket thing I got off of Instagram. Not Instagram, y'all. Amazon. I don't have Amazon. And this is my business business <laughs> notebook. And it's just a lot of ideas, some things I need to do, some video ideas. I mean, that's really about it. My hair business is it pretty much runs itself. It's been running itself for 12 years. It's online. I don't really have to write many things down for that. Like literally everything is online for that. So I don't need a notebook for that. That's more so for content i should probably put like content notebook versus business you know anyway let's go to what we all came to see which is my standard cut down stylogy for the most part when i am using this notebook it is in here because i ain't got time to be taking it in and out so let's start from the beginning there are a lot of sticky notes covering up journal entries and things like that but I'll show y'all pretty much what I can show you. So one thing I always do when I set up a stylogy is I leave blank pages. 
why do I leave blank pages? Because I watch planner videos all the time. And when I watch other people's planner videos and I see some things that they've included, I'm like, oh man, I need that. Darn, I ain't got no, no extra space nowhere, but I do. So right here in the very front, there's always a couple of pages. Then I have an index. I changed the way I did my index. First of all, let me tell you what I'm not finna do. It's number 365 pages. Ha, I'm not doing that. But what I do, what I decided to do now, there's random important things that I have written down that I might need to reference. Like Junior has another surgery coming up. Well, where the heck did I write that? Because I don't want to write that in here. Um, I want to keep it in here. But if I don't know where it is, then it's pointless. And I don't want a bunch of little colorful tabs sticking out. Even though I think that looks nice because this notebook's not very wide, they'll probably get all bent up and then that's just, I can't do it. <sighs> so I have it written down on the 24th. I know that I wrote it on the 24th, so I can just go to the 24th. And bam, it's right there. So that's what my index is for right now. I just started this notebook, even though I have so much in it already. I literally just started it. Um, I got these paper clips from somewhere. These little paper sheet things. I don't know, but I got them from there, from somewhere. I don't even know. But they are wonderful. So in between here are more blank pages because I don't know what all I might need to reference. Or again, I don't know what all I might want to add. And I always want to have space to add extra stuff. So these are my feature logs. I also changed the way I did my feature logs. I used to have like little lines and the calendars. Child ain't got time for that. I don't have time. Um, this system is very... Um, simplified from a lot of the other stylogy notebooks it's simplified and it gives me more freedom and i like that so all i did I, oh yeah i'm into stamping now child listen honey here go my stamps let me just show y'all right quick baby i love these stamps and i don't know where i don't i just got some random ink pad off amazon 2000 plus and it dries so fast it does bleed but it dries fast and i'm cool with the bleeding not bleeding ghosting not bleeding ghosting it does ghost but i'm cool with the ghosting because it dries super fast like as soon as you put it down i have not smudged one time so i really like that but so all i did was i put uh the month at the top so i can just go in and write that because this is just easier than all of that other stuff that I had going on just this is y'all this is giving me so much freedom so right in between here before I jump into September is what more blank pages so while I was um you know after I had my notebook set up I was like oh man I'm homeschooling my youngest this year he'll be four and um I needed some field trip ideas because I'm not ready to add a whole homeschool notebook in there because he's only four well, he will be for in October. And I don't know that I'm going to be following a strict curriculum yet. So I'll probably just randomly add things in here. But if things get, you know, more, you know, complicated, then I have tons of these little notebooks that I can create for specifically for his homeschool. But I don't think it'll, I don't know. I don't even know. Don't even get me started. It's a whole nother video for another day. But anyways, so on these blank pages, I decided to add a page for field trip ideas for him. I want us to do a field trip every month. So I'm just right. I was just randomly last night looking at places and writing down how much it costs for adults and kids to go. So me and my husband can take him on field trips. And again, my blank pages. So now we will jump into September. Yeah, I messed that up right there. But I kind of like it. It gives it personality. So, this is September. And this sounds so crazy. But, y'all, when I was making this up, I forgot to put a monthly calendar in. <laughs> I had set up everything. My to-do, my to-buy, goals, my tracker. Now, this is September setup. 
but I went ahead and I'm gonna finish August out in here so um, September's completely set up I really don't think I'll do a monthly a September setup video but I don't know I might but it is all the way set up and my prayer list which I covered up and my daily gratitude and then I decided to leave a blank page because just in case I, I wanted to add something else and I started like this was last week when I actually started it. I started my weeklies. So, you know, I jump into my daily pages. I'm doing my daily thing. And I'm like, dang, I need to update the calendar. Oh, snap. Child, I ain't put a calendar in here. So that is why my monthly calendar is like smack here in the middle where I can barely find it. <laughs> I'm moving the table. Where I can barely find it because... My life ain't together. It's, 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 I got a lot going on in my life. But, yeah, so there's my monthly calendar now. But I haven't... I need... Uh, I love this size, but I think this calendar isn't working. And what I'm thinking about doing is tipping in, like, a full sheet of paper calendar. One that I can just pull out and write on and put back in, I think. Because uh, my mother... I have to put her appointments in here. So, blue is my household, like the kids' appointments. Purple is me. And this brown color is my mom. Well, I just got her updated physical therapy schedule. And, child, she got a lot of appointments. And I have to add them up here. And I have more appointments that I need to add up here. So, I don't know. We'll see if I need to tip in another sheet or not. We'll see. So these are my weeklies. And let me show you what a blank one looks like. It's kind of Hobonichi style. Yes, I did go in here and stamp all of this out. I ain't got no regrets. <laughs> I like, I love the way it came out. Um, I mainly am planning to put appointments here. I had started to write out some things from my weekly list, but I changed my mind um, and I decided to just write in appointments. I'm using my friction erasable pen to write in hair appointments because you know folk be tripping and I don't like I don't like doing a bunch of scribble scrabble. So I like to write those in in green. And as I do things, I check them off. And over here, um, I track my mom's nurse's hours. So you know we pay her accordingly, and I write down meals. And L-O means leftovers. And of course, I have bills. Like this is an auto, a bill that's going to automatically draft on Sunday. So I put it for Saturday. So I know that it, you know, the money is in there. Because child. And I use sticky notes to pre-plan. So here's something that I won't be doing after this week. I don't really, I mean, there's a little deco up here. But not a lot. But when it comes to my weekly stuff... I don't want to keep doing this, putting sticky notes to plan for next week because I want to put stickers now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stickers on all of these pages. Like if, if I want stickers, I'm just going to go ahead and put the stickers up there or the washi tape or whatever so that, you know, as I'm dibbling and dabbling in and out of my planner, I'm just going to go in and write this stuff down because I auto wrote that there was going to be an auto bill for next week. And I don't know. I sometimes on Saturdays, I like to plan my week out, but some Saturdays I'm super busy and same thing on Sundays, but in a day like today that I wasn't with my mom, I got a lot of stuff done. Well, I could have been planning next week because I have a lot of stuff that needs to get done and I could already be, you know what I'm saying? Putting appointments in and all of that stuff. So I'm thinking about no longer waiting to plan each week on the weekend, like just blurt it all out like those appointments that are child where is the monthly calendar that are up here i want to start writing them in here that way i can start referencing what's going on further out than just my current week because i mean i do want to show my weekly setup and i do want to show my planner but i needed to work for me like i needed to actually work for me and not just be only be something that i'm sharing like i needed to actually do what i needed to do and that's something i've been doing since i 
made my planner public was trying to make it look nice and i think that's the reason why i'm flip flopping from planner to planner because i'm trying to make it cute for y'all and i need it to be functional for me and it might not be both maybe this these will be more informative planner videos <laughs> they're pretty ones i don't know we'll see y'all you'll see so these are the dailies um now this day I called myself writing my schedule out, some things to do. Um, oh, Y'all don't even know. I haven't posted on Instagram in a minute, like a month, because your girl was in the ICU the first week of August. And I was there for a whole week, and I've been in recovery mode. And then I've just been so, like, I'm still kind of recovering, but every day I feel better and better. It wasn't covid it was some crazy infection that nobody can explain. This is my second time having it. My blood pressure, not my blood pressure, my um, temperature was 105.9. One nurse said, I need no blood, um, temperatures can get that high. They checked me for COVID three times because they just refused to believe I didn't have COVID. Meanwhile, I'm breathing fine. That's like a whole nother story in itself. And if y'all, y'all, when I tell you that's a whole nother story in itself, like, <clears throat> the things that my body was doing, it gave me a brand new appreciation for nurses. <laughs> and like a lot of funny, crazy stuff happened. Like, if y'all want that story, I would totally do a story time and tell y'all about it. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear my hospital stay story. Because, child, listen, it was a thing. Anywho, so um, I had been eating fast food a lot because I was too weak, too tired to cook. My husband works second shift and my son ain't gonna kill me with his cooking. So that's why this says no fast food next week because literally since I got out the hospital, I haven't eaten fast food and it just wasn't, it wasn't working. Like I didn't, y'all, so many things. So these are just, so one day is this, this is a whole day. So over here is like me journaling about the day or whatever. So then the next day I decided to just write appointments over here. You know, write out my to-dos. Hardly nothing got done. It's a lot of arrows. Because like I said, I'm still in I was still in recovery mode. Um I just Oh yeah, that's right. So the reason nothing got done this day is because I was supposed to be doing hair. But my mother, she, she's she been having anxiety attacks since she lost her mobility. And she just needed me. So I had to cancel my appointments and go there. And I literally was with her the whole day. So that is why nothing got done that day. And then Sunday was our five-year anniversary. So I tried to make this look all pretty with, you know, flowers. Um, and I made a cheers to five years page cause we've been married five years and I ain't had a chance to make it, you know, like, you know, actually like right in what I wanted to, and like, I wanted to use my sprocket and put some pictures and I'll do it one of these days. All right. So, um, I haven't done weekly recaps in a long time. I got back into doing weekly recaps. So what I do on the weekly recap page is through the week. I have a sticky note up there and I'll randomly write things that I want to write about that I want to make sure I journal about on my weekly recap. And it's been helping. Like it, it made this flow so much better to have, okay, this, that, that. And I touched on all those things. So a new thing that I'm doing is scripture memory. So before I start my new dailies, I want to have my scripture memory, um, verses written out so that I can easily refer back to what I'm supposed to be memorizing for that day. So today is Wednesday. This is where I am now. I have totally memorized um Colossians 1 and 1. Um um I'm pretty good on uh 1 and 2. <laughs> and uh still have to do 3. So my goal was to do one verse a day. I think that might be a little too much. And week i mean this is all, again another video for another day if you want me to go in depth into my scripture memory and if you look right here i have one letter for each word 
on how I do that and where I got it from, I can give y'all another video. So again, if you want the hospital stay story time, let me know in the comments. If you want the scripture memory video, let me know in the comments and I will do that. <clears throat> All right, so scripture memory versus there. Now this is this week. I decided Monday, I decided to cross out the things that I'm not going to do and check off the things that I do and use the yellow circles to list my to do's sort of kind of good made an awesome dinner something i call southwestern mac and cheese child listen it was so good whole family loved it it's got to go on my list um yeah so these so now this week i changed my dailies it's still appointments and to do's and then <clears throat> journaling and I added a picture of me and my grandbaby and then I added an extra page for me to do devotional and as you see I did not done my summary from Monday but I did do my scripture writing I did do my prayer I did write out my memory verse and I don't know how the heck that got right there and if you want me and I'll do this right quick so the memory verse for Colossians 1 and 1 the reason I do one letter is because it triggers my memory to remember the word. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy, our brother. Bam. That's the whole first verse of Colossians 1 and 1. But again, it's a separate video for another time because I get real hyped when I start doing it. Okay. Okay. So this is how I added my devotionals with my dailies. So then we go into Tuesday, which was yesterday. And I decided to do goals in this pink color. Continue to do my listing, journaling, notes like Rodney called the AC guy for my mom, junior surgery. <sighs> Yesterday, I need to catch up on my devotional. I did do my writing, I didn't do my prayer. Um, the topic for prayer was um, being faithful to commitments. I put that there so that I remember what. I'm supposed to do my daily prayer on still need to do my summary and I just want you to know that I really sat down and tried to do these last night and my husband is on vacation and he is such a distraction I'm just say that he's a distraction so here it is today and I have my to do's so what I decided to do now was X off the things that I decided not to do so before I was putting a line through now I'm Xing so and then these arrows mean i need to migrate that to the next day or to another day so um september devotional i don't have time to do today but that will be released on the 30th if monday if this upcoming monday is the 30th that's the day it'll be released um now i did call columbia gas i did call about kai's birth certificate i called cox I need to catch up on daily devotionals. These things need to get my ready to tomorrow. And then these are things that still need to be done today. And then I need to pay uh, Cox today. And then here, I haven't done anything for my devotionals today. The only thing I did was write out, not really the acronym, but maybe I guess you want to call it the acronym for my memory verse. So here I will put my summary. I do my scripture writing and then my prayer for an unsaved friend. And then the rest of these are... Just my daily pages already, you know, labeled. So if I want to um oh and I put these two sticky notes here because this is gonna be my weekly recap page and some sticky notes for me to write some things out. But I do that because sometimes I want to I in my other strategies I will like just sometimes I'll just do random scripture writing. And random prayer journal entries and regular journal entries but I like to keep all my dailies together so now that I know where my week ends I know if I want to do a individual you know journal entry that I can start it right here and yeah I like it I feel like you know I tried to be cute but be more functional and this might work so I said I had an announcement well, let me tell y'all the announcement. 
The announcement is my goal. <laughs> I don't make promises because, you know, the Bible says let your yes be yes and your no be no. But it didn't say nothing against set goals. All right, all right. So my goal is to remain in this notebook until it's finished which should get me through the end of the year but if this is just if this is where I am so far and I just started this like Friday this particular notebook likely won't get me through the end of the year but it might I don't know we'll see but my goal is to stay in this notebook until it is finished. That is a big deal because I flip flop way too much. But I got a lot of stuff going on and I need to be able to reference back for these things. And I cannot do that if I'm flipping from system to system. So that's my big little announcement is that my goal is to remain in this notebook. I said it out loud on camera to y'all. So now I'm responsible for it. That is my goal is to, is to do that. So, yeah. Oh, also in here, tucked in my little social media content folder is this insert that I have just put them together. This is from Paper and Cats, and I attempted to make this calendar for the rest of the year so that I could start writing out my YouTube schedule because I'm back to filming and I want to film certain things. So, yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> this video is probably super duper, duper, duper long, but I really wanted to show you guys my current state of happiness and let you know that I'm planning to stay in this notebook until it's finished. Not necessarily this cover, because I have another cover that I really like that I think might actually work a little bit better for me. And in my next video, you you know, I might be in that cover or I might still be in this one. But either way, I'm really happy. And I'm going to try to stay in here. And I'm going to try to make this more functional than pretty. And I want to share more with you guys what I'm doing. I really have some great things planned. And God willing, I'll be able to do those things that I have planned. All right. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram. And um, if you'd like to support me by buying me a coffee, there is a link in my description to do so. And until then, happy planning. Ahala. Bye.